All right, we're back at 1211 this afternoon and we got to see plenty of rain over the weekend. Take a look at these clips right here taken by our weekend crew. Many parts of El Paso experiencing some flooding even you can see in that video right there. I hear there's more rain in the forecast, Roxy. Obviously, you're tracking that for us and hopefully it just doesn't get that bad again. Yeah, well, the bad news is that anything we get, even if it's a little bit, it's going to create some flooding. So. Yeah. So we already got a lot of flooding this week, so yeah, we do expect some more. And um, as far as today, though, we are forecasting 40% chance of rain. It is going to decrease by the middle of the week, but it's going to increase once again for the weekend. But at least the good news, let's talk about those rainfall totals. We did uh, register twice where we should be for the month of August. So we are 2.3 inches for the month of August. We should be at 1.16, so double where we should be for this month. As for the year, we've registered 4.4. We should be at 5.1. So less than an inch away, uh, away where we should be for the year. So that's pretty good news. We ha did catch up, but the bad news is the flooding, right? As far as today, well, we're not tracking anything quite yet, but we do expect the storm to move through around 7 p.m. to the overnight hours. You'll notice we are seeing the storm system towards the southwest of us, still pretty far away, but it does seem like it's moving up north, so we'll definitely keep track of that for you this afternoon. As far as temperatures, well, we're still in the 80s, 80 degrees. That's the current temperature at the airport. Easterly winds at 5 miles per hour. Over in Las Cruces, 79 degrees. Easterly winds at 5 miles per hour. Here's what expect this afternoon as you're Heading out to lunch, picking up the kiddos from school. Come on o'clock, 81 degrees. What we're forecasting, we're here expecting high today by 3 p.m. at 87 degrees, 82 by your 6 o'clock. So very comfortable, still in the 80s. We're still seeing a lot of tropical moisture in our atmosphere, so we're still in this dark green area here. We're still seeing a lot of rain in Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana. Most of it, though, is going to be in northeast Texas. However, tomorrow for your Tuesday, we're going to start to see that storm system move east, so we'll be in this lighter green area tomorrow. We'll see a decrease for the middle of the week, but it's going to pick up once again over the weekend. So don't forget those umbrellas this week. We're still expecting a lot of rain. As far as expected highs, we're looking at 77 in Silver City, 84 in Deming, matching that in Tier C, 89 in Juarez. And here's how we compare. On average, we should be hovering close to 94 degrees this time of year. We're expecting a high of 87, 7 degrees below where we should be. But we're going to warm up to 90s pretty soon once again, starting on Wednesday. So we're forecasting 40% chance of rain tonight, 30% Tuesday, Wednesday. We drop to 20% Thursday, Friday, and then pick up once again to 30% over the weekend. And really quickly, I do want to give a big shout out to one of our weather watchers. This goes to James Jones for this beautiful picture of those cloudy skies on the Oregon Mountains over the weekend. Beautiful shot, so thank you so much, James. If you'd like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, just go and submit those beautiful weather photos to us to our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com.